श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम लेट एस रीड फ्रॉम वर्स सेवनटीन श्री भगवाच ज्योतिषापि तज्ज्योति तमस परमुच्यते ज्ञान स्नेय ज्ञानगम्य हृदय सर्वस्वेष्ठित क्षेत्र तथा ज्ञान ज्ञेय चोक्त सामसता मद्भक्त तज्ञा मद्भावायोपद्य we can continue to be involved with any undertaking only under one condition and that condition is if we are sincerely dedicated and in love for that whether it is the material pursuit or it is the spiritual pursuit those who are having the material pursuit they are so dedicated and they have such great love for the wealth and the worldly enjoyments that they are fully involved <coughs> the best example you can see is <coughs> the life of a boy and a girl when they meet initially so that time their intensity of love dedication importance for each other is so much that there is no topics like i am tired i don't have time why not we do it later not now i am busy all these things disappear because the mutual love and then after some time when that love portion is over and only the um frustration aspect remains as the by product of the love then the interest has gone difficulty start cropping up there is no time we forget when is her birthday earlier we will never forget <coughs> if this example is clear in the same manner mad bhakta ha etad vijnaya mad bhavaya upapadyate this knowledge regarding the kshetra kshetrajna dhyanam neyam we will be able to apply ourselves totally and fully if we are dedicated to the spiritual path and what is the spiritual path spiritual path is seeking the highest and the highest is the parmatma no half way compromise so mad bhakti etad vijnaya and those who are my devotee those who seek me with all sincerity they alone attain me mad bhavaya upapadyate no one else up to here one topic in the 13th chapter of gita is over now from this third 19th verse we start the second topic प्रकृति पुषम विकारांश्च गुणांश्च विधि प्रकृति संभवान् संभवान्ह 
this portion I told in the morning class also must be very clear in our mind that the purusha of the sankhyas or the yoga is nothing but the prakriti of the Ishvara or the Paramatma, not a separate entity. Therefore, prakritim purusham chaiva Ishwarasya prakriti, see it is the dirghai, prakriti. So, prakritim purusham chaiva Ishwarasya prakriti and tau prakriti purushau and therefore ubhau. Why I know how this thing, whole thing has come up, understand the grammar portion. Prakriti and Purusha. Purusha is a masculine. So it has become one word now, Prakriti Purusha. And because of that, this word Prakriti Purusha has become a masculine, like Ramaha. And then Ramau. So when it is said, Prakriti Purusham Chaiva Vidya Anadi Ubhau Api, therefore, Prakriti and Purusha, both of them are included in the Prakriti only. They are not, uh, one is not uh, non-Prakriti, other is Prakriti, no. Therefore, Ishwarasya, Dvau Prakriti, Dve Prakriti, Tau, Ubhau, Api Anadi Vidhi, and both of them recognized to be without beginning. Na Vidyate Adi, Yaya Oho, Tau Anadi. Those two who has no beginning is called as Anadi. Now, Nitya Ishwaras, Nitya Ishwaratvat, Ishwarasya Tat Prakrutyo Ho, Api Yuktam Nitya Tvam Bhavitum. When the Ishwara is Nitya, naturally, his Prakriti also will be same. So, Prakriti Dvayavatvam Evahi Ishwarasya Ishwaratvam. And this is the greatness of the Ishwara, Ishwaratva, that he is wielding both the Prakritis. Now, Yabhyam Prakriti Bhyam by these two Prakritis. So, which are the two Prakriti? One is Apara Prakriti, second is Jiva Bhuta Prakriti. So, Yabhyam Prakriti Bhyam Ishvaraha Jagat Utpati Sthiti Pralai Hetuhu Te Dve Anadi Satyav Samsarasya Karanam. So, these two Purusha and Prakriti, both are the Prakritis of the Ishvara, and by these two, Jagat Utpati Stiti Pralai Hetuhu. They are the cause of the creation, sustenance, and the destruction of this world. Te Dve Anadi, these two are Anadi. Satyau Samsarasya Karadam. Now, we have, what is the meaning of this word Satya? Satyau. How this word has come? It is. Te Dve Anadi Satyo. Um, sati is the seventh case. Satyo becomes the dual. This being so, like you know, Shirne Vitte Ka Parivaraha. Anadau Satyo. Satyo. So, Te Dve Anadi Satyo. Anadi also is a dual case. See, these two being without beginning, so te dve anadi satyau samsarasya karanam. Therefore, both of them are the cause of the samsara. Now, na adi anadi iti tad purusha samasam kechid varnayanti. Now, some people, they interpret this word anadi, means what? Tad purusha samas, na adi yasya. The one who doesn't have the beginning is called as Anadi. Tena hi kila Ishwarasya karanatvam siddhati. And by that also they say that the Ishwara becomes the cause of this world. Yadi punaha prakruti purushau eva nityau syatam tatkrutam eva jagat na Ishwarasya jagataha karatrutvam. But if you say that the meaning of the Anadi <coughs> is like we have seen. That because these are Ishwara's Prakriti, Ishwar being in Nitya Anadi, therefore they are also Anadi. Instead of that, if we say they do not have the beginning Adi, then what will happen? Then only the Ishwara becomes the Karana, cause of this world. But if you say that Purusha Prakriti, these both Prakritis are also Anadi, Nitya, then what will happen? 
then they are the cause of this world and then ishvara will not be the cause of this world and therefore na ishvarasya jagatah kartrutvam and tad asat and this cannot be accepted because ishvara is the creator of this world prak prakruti purushayoh utpatteh ishitavya abhavat ishvarasya anishvaratva prasang therefore before the prakruti and the purusha's creation ishvara will be considered as anishvara because ishitavya abhavat there is nobody to control and therefore this will be the problem if you take the interpretation of the anadi being associated with the anadi ishvara therefore anadi we don't accept because by this this problem will come ishvara will become anishvara and samsarasya nirnimitta tatve anirmoksha prasangat and if the samsara is without any purpose then there is no uh, thing called as moksha moksha will also not be required and when moksha is not required then shastra anarthakya prasangat then the scriptures will become meaningless and then bandha moksha abhava prasangat cha and there will be nothing like bondage and liberation therefore change the meaning of anadi see from where anadi is where so therefore we should not take that anadi means because it is ishvara's prakriti therefore they are anadi no now nityatve punah ishvarasya prakrityo ho sarvam eva upapannam bhavet so here bhagwan replies he ishvarasya prakrityo ho nityatve punah ishvarasya sarvam etat upapannam bhavet but if you take a very simple way that ishvara being nitya is prakriti jar nitya therefore everything is okay katham how it is possible vikarancha gunancha eva vakshamanan vikaram buddhyadi dehindriyan tan gunamcha sukha dukha moha pratyaya karana parinatam vidhi janihi prakriti sambhavat because vikarancha gunancha eva vidhi prakriti sambhavan so these vikaras which are the vikara first is the um, संघात लाइक विकारान बुद्ध्यादि देह इंद्रियान एंड ऑल्सो सुख दुख मोह प्रत्यय सो दीज आर बॉर्न विधि प्रकृति संभवान दे आर क्रिएटेड आउट ऑफ द प्रकृति प्रकृति ही ईश्वर से विकार कारण शक्ति त्रिगुणात्मिका माया सा संभव ईशान विकाराण गुणा च तान विकाराम गुणान विधि प्रकृति संभवान प्रकृति परिणाम therefore what we have to understand that all these modifications changes in this world they belong to the prakriti and not to the paramatma in this manner you understand what we are doing we are trying to discover the paramatma therefore this purusha prakriti vivek has started now ki puna te vikara guna cha iti prakriti sambhava the which are those gunas and modification which are born out of prakriti this is said in the 20th verse karya karana kartrutve he tu prakriti ruchyate purusha sukha dukhanam bhoktrutve he tu ruchyate कार्य कर्ण कर्तृत्वे कार्य शरीर कर्णानी तस्थानी त्रयोदश इंद्रिया सो कार्य मीन्स द बॉडी कर्ण मीन्स द इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो दे थर्टीन ऑफ देम दे आर कॉल्ड एज द कर्णानी इन युअर हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन दे हैव मेन्शन तेरह कारण इट शुड बी करण इट शुड नॉट बी कारण बिकॉज कर्णानी इज द टॉपिक गोइंग ऑन नॉट कारणानी There is the difference between karan and the karan. Karan is the instrument, karan is the cause. Now, dehasya arambhakani bhutani vishayacha prakriti sambhava ha vikara. So, those pancha mahabhutas who are responsible for the creation of the gross body, they are vikara ha purvokta, which were said earlier, karya grahane ne gruhyante. so pancha mahabhutas gross body uh, elements etc they are included by the word karya that means the gross body karya grahane na gruhyante then guna cha prakriti sambhava ha sukha dukha mohatmaka karana shrayatvad karana grahane na gruhyante 
Similarly, the other modifications of the prakriti is sukha dukha, etc. So they are karana ashrayatvat, sukha dukha, etc. is experienced by the sense organs, etc. And therefore, by the karana, it is included. In this way, the total prakriti and its modification, everything is included by these two words, karya and the karana. Now, Tesham Karya Karananam Kartrutvam Utpadakatvam Yatat Karya Karana Kartutvam. Now, these two, Karya the body, Karana the instrument, etc. Kartrutvam Utpadakatvam. Their creation, the sense of creation or the attribute of being creator, Yatat Karya Karana Kartutva. That is called as the doership associated with the creation of the body and the sense organs, etc. Tasmin karya karana kartrutve in this regard, hetuhu karanam arambhagatvena prakruti hi uchate. So, their cause is this prakruti. Because it is the prakruti alone which becomes mahat tattva and then the asmita and the ekadashi indriyani, then tanma, pancha tanmatrani, pancha uh, sthulani bhutani. In this manner, these 23 aspects are born out of the same prakriti. Therefore, hetuhu karanam aram bhagatvena prakriti uchate. In this manner, evam karya karana kartrutvena samsarasya karanam prakriti syat. And therefore, the cause of this world. And what is the world? World is having these two aspects. One is the gross body which is made out of the gross elements and the subtle body with the modification which is made out of the subtle elements. This is born out of the avyakta namna paramesha shakti, this divine power of the Lord. Now, karya karana kartrutve iti asmin pathe api, there is another reading of this verse. One is Karya Karana Kartrutve, second reading is Karya Karana Kartrutve. So even if you take this reading, Karya Karana Kartrutve iti asmin api pathe, Karyam yat yasya vi parinamaha tat tasya karyam. So when the cause is modified, it is called as the effect. So Karyam yat yasya vi parinamaha tat tasya karyam vikaro. Vikari Karanam. Therefore, the cause is that which is undergoing modification. And Tayoho Vikarinoho. So, of these two, Karya and the Karanam. Therefore, these two together, Kartrutveti, they are responsible for the creation of this world. And in this manner, Prakruti is the original cause for the creation of the, all the modifications such as body as well as the instrument of knowledge. Athava, another example, Athava, Shodashi Vikaraha. So, which are the Shodashi Vikaraha we have already seen? Mahabhutan Yankaro Buddhira Vyakta Mevacha, this is Ashtadha Prakruti. And thereafter, Indriyani Dashaikamcha, Pancha Chendriya Gocharaha, these are the Shodashi Vikaras. How they have become Shodash? Indriyani Dashaikamcha, 11. And Pancha Chendriya Gocharaha, five sense objects, Shabda Sparsha Rupa Rasaganda. So these sixteen have become the Vikaraha, they are the Karya effects. And Sapta Prakruti Vikrutayaha. And Ashtadha Prakruti, when we say Mahabhutanya Hankaro Buddhira Vyakta Mevacha, so Avyakta is the Prakruti, therefore Mahabhutanya Hankaro up to here, and Buddhi is the seven. Therefore, uh, Sapta Prakruti Vikrutayaha. These seven are the modifications of the Prakruti, and in this manner, Tani Eva Karya Karanani Uchante. They are called as the cause and effects. Tesham Kartrutve for their creation. Hetuhu Prakruti Uchate Aram Bhagatvena. Prakruti is their cause because it is out of Prakruti only all these things are born. So Karya Karana Kartrutve Hetu Prakruti Uchate. Then Purushahacha asya samsarasya karanam yatha syatta duchate. Now what was said? That this world samsara is created by both of them. Purusha and the prakriti. Now how the prakriti is the cause of this world is explained. 
Now, how the Purusha is the cause of this world, that is being explained now. Purusho Jeevaha, Purusho Ho Jeevaha, Kshetradnyo Bhokta Iti Paryayaha. So, this Purusha means the Jeeva or the Kshetradnyo or the enjoyer Bhokta. These are the alternative words. Sukha Dukkha Naam Bhogya Naam Bhogtrutve Upalabdrutve Hetuhu. So, Bhogtrutve means what? Upalabdhi. Experience, the seat of experience is called as bhoga, bhoktrutva. So, so there are two things in this world now. One is the field of experience along with the instrument of experience, and second is the experiencer who is experiencing. So, the instrument and the field of experience is created out of prakriti. And the experiencer of this world is because of the Purusha. This is how, these are the two Prakrutis of Paramatma. The uh, Prakriti creating the instrument and the world and Prakriti creating the experiences. So, Purushaha Sukha Dukkhanam Bhogyanam Bhoktrutve Upalabdrutve Hetu Uchate is called as the cause. Now, Katham Punaha Anena Karya Karana Kartrutvena Sukha Dukha Bhoktrutvena Cha Prakruti Purushayoho Samsara Karanatvam Uchchate Iti. Now here a question is raised. How Anena Karya Karana Kartrutvena by this Karya Karana Kartrutva Prakruti and Sukha Dukha Bhoktrutvena and being the experience of the joys and sorrows, Prakruti Purusha Yoho of these two, Prakruti and the Purusha Yoho, Purusha, Samsara Karanatvam Katham, how this is the cause of this world, Uchyate. Now this is being said. Atra Uchyate, it is said, Karya Karana Sukha Dukha Rupena Hetu Bhalatmana Prakruti He Parinama Bhave Purusha Se Chetana Se Asati Tad Upalab Drutve Kutaha Samsara Syaat why both are considered as the cause of this world? Because Karya Karana Sukha Dukha Rupena Hetu Phalatmana Prakrute He Parinama Abhave Purushasya Chetanasya Asati. Suppose there is gross world, gross body, and then there is a gross world, Shabdasparsha Rupa Rasagandha, and then there is modification of this Prakruti, Parinama. And then, but for all of them, there is no Purusha who is experiencing the joys and sorrows, who is not going through the good or bad experiences. Therefore, what will happen? Parinama bhave purushasya chetanasya asati. And if there is no Purusha who is experiencing this, then tava atad upalabdhru kartve upalabdhutrave kutaha samsarasya then in the absence of the experiencer, how there can be the experience of the samsara? See? Like, you know, there is a house. In that house, there is a furniture. And in that furniture, there is a man. So the samsara has not begun. When the samsara begins, when that ekameva ditiya, goes and gets married to a girl and then the samsara begins. The moment he gets married to the girl, what happens? Man disappears and husband is born. And samsara is not for the house. Samsara is not for the furniture. Samsara is not for the wife. It is for husband. He only suffers. Because Karya Karna Hit Kartrutve Prakruti Purusha Uchate, Prakruti Karda Uchate. Therefore, make it very clear your understanding. So, Karya Karna Sukha Dukha Rupena Hitu Phalatmana Prakruti He Parinama Abhavi. So, if on one side this Prakruti is not undergoing any modification, if on one side there is no body, no instruments of knowledge, if on one side there is no cause and effects creating, then 
परिणाम अभावी प्रकृति है एंड इन द प्रकृति इज नॉट अंडर गोइंग मॉडिफिकेशन मीनिंग वॉट प्रकृति रिमेन्स ओनली अव्यक्त देन पुरुष से चेतन से असति इफ देर इज ओनली अव्यक्त प्रकृति देयर कैनॉट बी रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द परमात्मा इन द प्रकृति इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द जीवात्मा सो पुरुष से चेतन से असति वेन ही विल बी एबसेंट देन तद उपलब्धुत्व एंड देयर फॉर फॉर हिम वेर इज द कुत संसार सैद वेर इज द संसार फॉर हिम द एक्सपीरियंस एंड देन यदा पुनः कार्यकरणरूपेण हेतुफलात्मना परिणतया प्रकृत्या भोगया पुरुष से तत्परीत भोक्तृत्व अविद्याूप संयोग सैद तदा संसार सैद एंड कॉन्ट्रे टू दैट वेन कार्यकरणरूपेण हेतुफलात्मना परिणतया प्रकृत्या सो द प्रकृति इज नौ अवेलेबल विथ ऑल द कॉज एंड इफेक्ट एंड मॉडिफिकेशन एंड वॉट इज दिस प्रकृति भोग्यया वर्दि ऑफ बींग एंजॉयड बाय द पुरुष सो हु इज द पुरुष तद विपरीत पुरुष से पुरुष इज नॉट लाइक द प्रकृति देन भोक्तृत्व ही बिकम द एक्सपीरियंसर ऑफ दिस प्रकृति एंड मॉडिफिकेशन एंड हाउ ही बिकम एक्सपीरियंसर अविद्या रूप संयोग सैद बाय इग्नरस देश पुरुष हु इज एसेन्शियली परमात्मा थ्रू इग्नरस स्टार्ट इमेजिनिंग That I am now limited jiva. Like this man starts imagining after the marriage. Now I am the husband. So how I can be happy? What people will say? People will say that he is the most irresponsible man. Why? After marriage also he laughs. In this manner, I am the jiva. How I can uh, be happy? एज ए जीवा पापो हम पाप कर्म आम देन यू आर ए गुड हजबेंड ऑल द टाइम हैंग योर फेस एंड बी सबमिस यू देन यू आर हैविंग अ रिस्पॉन्सिबल पोजिशन इन द सोसाइटी दैट यू आर अ रियली गुड हजबेंड हु इज कॉन्स्टेंटली सफरिंग दिस इज हाउ संयोग सैद तदा संसार सैद तो वेन दिस परमात्मा एंड प्रकृति दे कम टूगेदर संसार बिगिन्स अतः यत प्रकृति पुरुषयो कार्य कर्णकर्तृत्व सुख दुख भोक्तृत्व संसार कारण उक्त तुक्त एंड देर फॉर वेन इट इज सेड पुरुष एंड द प्रकृति वेन दे कम टूगेदर हाउ दे कम टूगेदर प्रकृति प्रोवाइड्स द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड द फील्ड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड पुरुष प्रोवाइड्स द एक्सपीरियंसर एंड दीज टू थिंग्स टूगेदर क्रिएट द संसार कहा पुनः अयम संसारो नाम देन व्हाट एक्जैक्टली इज दिस संसार संसार सुख दुख संभोग संसार एंड पुरुष से संसार इज नॉट फॉर द पंच महाभूत संसार इज नॉट फॉर द ज्ञानेन्द्रिया संसार इज नॉट फॉर द कर्मेन्द्रिया संसार इज नॉट फॉर द माइंड ऑफ द इंटेलेक्ट संसार इज द पुरुष who gets identified with the conditioning and for him there is the samsara see so sukha dukha sambhogah samsarah purushasya cha sukha dukha naam sambhoktrutvam samsaritvam iti therefore what is samsari or samsaritvam being a samsari the one who is the enjoyer of joys and sorrows in this world is called as samsara and that is why if you want to get out of samsara what bhagwan told in second uh, chapter sukha dukhe samay krutva labha labho jaya jayo tato yuddhay yujjasva naivam papam means samsaram avapsasi so when this joys and sorrows loss and gain do not touch then that jiva himself is the parmatma because there is no bhuktrutva abhiman नो कर्तृत्वाभिमान न यद पुरुष से सुख दुखा नाम भोक्तृत्व संसारित्व उक्त तत्कित उच्य है न वेयर फ्रॉम दिस पुरुष हैज कम टू द पोजिशन ऑफ द एक्सपीरियंसर ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड एंड देयर फोर ही हैज बिकम ए संसारी दिस इज नाउ सेड इन द नेक्स्ट वर्स पुरुष प्रकृतिस्थो ही 
घुंगते प्रकृति जान गुणान कारण गुण संगोस्य सद सद्यो नि जन्मसु पुरुष हा भोक्ता प्रकृति स्था सो वेन द पुरुष इज आइडेंटिफाइड विद प्रकृति पुरुष हा प्रकृति स्थो ही प्रकृत अविद्या लक्षणाया कार्यकरण रूपेन परिणतायाम स्थित हा प्रकृति स्था और स्वामी जी स्टू गिव द एग्जाम्पल यू आर ऑल आसनस्थ एंड आई एम चेयरस्थ सो देर फॉर आई एम ए चेयर पर्सन एंड यू आर ग्राउंडेड इन द सेम मैनर पुरुष प्रकृति स्थो ही इज सीटिंग इन द प्रकृति एंड वॉट इज द प्रकृति अविद्या लक्षणायाम कार्य करण रूपेण परिणतायाम सो दिस पुरुष गेट्स आइडेंटिफाइड विद द बॉडी एंड द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एटसेट्रा बिकॉज प्रकृति इज ओनली दिस मॉडिफाइड सो प्रकृति प्रकृति आत्मत्व गई प्रकृति स्थ मीन्स वॉट ही स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग दैट द बॉडी एंड द ऑल द कर्मेन्द्रिया ज्ञानेन्द्रिया मन बुद्धि चित्त अहंकार दैट इज मी आत्मत्व गईत एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ही यस्मा तस्मा भुंगते उपलभते एंड देअर फॉर दिस पुरुष इज एबल टू एक्सपीरियंस दिस वर्ल्ड नाउ सी हाउ ट्रू इट इज इफ वी क्लोज अवर आईज कलर्स एंड फॉर्म्स कैनॉट बी एक्सपीरियंस बायस इफ वी क्लोज अवर इयर्स लेक्चर कैनॉट बी हर्ड बायस इफ वी क्लोज अवर माइंड duality has no existence therefore our identification with these instruments alone is the reason how we are able to experience this world and this is how purusha prakruti stohi bhukte prakruti jan gunan and then what are the gunas of the prakruti prakruti jan gunan are moha moha sukha dukha moha kara abhivyaktan gunan so what are the modifications of the body uh, prakruti the body then the body is born and grows and the old and the disease and the death and the modifications of the mind sukha dukha etc modifications of the sense organs and the organs of action their mandyatva patutva they are very bright they are dull witted with all this at uh, atmatvena gataha when this purusha start accepting them as his own real nature then aham sukhi dukhi mudah pandita iti evam and then he start behaving as if i am the joyful miserable fool wise etc so this is how the purusha abiding in the prakriti and the modifications thereafter becoming identified with those imaginary modifications imposes himself in self imprisonment and starts suffering the relative existence now see how this is this example i told you if you remember i'll again tell you what is the meaning of atmatvena gataha identification to mean that i am that this example which i told you about a child when he was talking gujarati i said hey gujarati uh what is your mother tongue so he immediately retorted i am not a gujarati i said you are talking gujarati no i am not talking gujarati i said then what what you are i am uh, lohana kachi that is the first time i heard this word lohana kachi so small child 5 years but when they are arrogant i am lohana kachi i am not a gujarati so i said can you try the kachi dada kon ke kachi can you try that see what abhiman i am kachi I am Brahman. I am Kshatriya. I am Vaishya. I am Hindu. I am Muslim, and the whole samsara begins thereafter. 
Atmatvena Gataha. Therefore, thereafter Sukhi Dukhi Mudaha Iti Evam. Now Satyam Api Avidyayam Sukadukka Moheshu Gureshu Bhujya Maneshu Yaha Sangaha Atma Bhavaha Samsarasya Sa Pradhanam Karanam Janmanaha. Now although Avidyayam Sukadukka Moheshu Gureshu Bhujya Maneshu Although all these things such as uh, Sukha, Dukha, Modification, Deha, Indriya, although they, are, they belong to the Prakriti, yet uh, Guneshu, Sangaha, Atma, Bhavaha, but because the Purusha becomes identified with them, this becomes Samsarasya Pradhana Karanam Janmanaha. From that moment onward, a Samsari is born. See? You know, these subtle points when we tell through some small light examples, we miss the point. Like, you know, samsari. One day, young man, happily living, suddenly thought, why not catch hold of samsari? And then he got involved, visited the website marriage.com and then found out one girl and got married. The moment he got married, he is called a samsari, meaning the moment the purusha gets identified with this prakriti and the modifications of the prakriti, the jiva is born. Thus, the jiva is constantly getting born and dies. Identification with the modifications of the prakriti is jiva bhava. Disidentification with the modifications of the prakriti is liberation. See how simple it is. So, so yatha kamo bhavati tad, kar, tad kratuhu bhavati ityadi shrutehe. Whatever, whatever are our desires and understanding, accordingly what we are. This is how we only imagine that somebody hates us, somebody loves us, somebody is indifferent. Nobody is interested in us. Please remember this. We have that funny notion. And somebody loves, nobody loves anybody in this world and nobody hates anybody in this world. It is only Upadeshadam uh, Ayam Vadaha. Because there is a business transaction, therefore all these things come. Now see, you are here. Maybe whatever time you have to stay in this ashram. After you go from here, all your friendship, enmity is totally erased. Then you go to a new place. There again the old habits of creating the friends and enemies. Again we create friends and enemies and suffer. Again we leave that place, go to the third place. The same thing we have been doing from body to body. Earlier we are in body, mosquito body, identified, enjoyed, suffered. Somebody came and killed. Okay. Then the next body. So this has been going on on. So when we do not stop the process of identification once for all, till then Punarapi Jananam is imagined as real, but it is not. See, like you know, identified with the child body, we were children. Now the child body has died and gone away. Now we are the middle age. So we are the same. But see our experiences. As a child I was so happy. Now as a old age others are happy. Now he's going to back at the chair. What a difference it makes. So we born as a child. Then we alone born as the middle age and so on. So the birth and death is not only the birth and death of the body. But identification with the prakriti and the modifications of the prakriti. So, tad etad aha karana metuhu guna sangaha guneshu sangaha asya purushasya bhoktuhu sad asad yoni janmasu. And because of this identification with these three gunas of the prakriti, we are born in lower and higher lives. Satyahacha asatyahacha yonayaha sad asad yonayaha tasu sad asad yonishu janmani janmani sad asad yoni janmani teshu sad asad yoni janmasu vishaya bhuteshu karanam guna sangaha. Now how we are born? 
in these various kinds of good and bad lives because guna sangha the moment we disidentify that very moment we are liberated see just imagine that somebody hates you then you start suffering but what i don't i don't know I'll, I'll go on and then you say now experiment is over okay now nobody hates me and see the difference so it is our own imagination somebody loves me somebody doesn't love me i love somebody i don't love somebody these imaginations when they are drop all your samsara i higher yoni lower yoni everything is over so athava another meaning is सद असद योनि जन्मसु अस्य संसार से कारण गुण संगति संसार संसार पदम अध्याहार्यम और वन कैन से दैट दिस जीवा टेकिंग बर्थ इन द हायर एंड द लोअर बर्थ ही अगेन कम्स इन कांटेक्ट विद द प्रकृति एंड द गुणाज एंड कंटिन्यूज टू बी इन दिस रिलेटिव एग्जिस्टेंस नाउ व्हाट इज द सद असद योनि सद असद योनय सद योनय देवादि योनय सद योनि मीन हाइयर बर्थ सच ए देव योनि एक्सेट्रा एंड असद योनय पश्वादि योनय द लोअर बर्थ आर कॉल्ड एट द स्नेक द एनिमल्स डॉकीज एक्सेट्रा सामर्थ्य सद असद अन यो मनुष्य योनय अभी अविरुद्धा द्रष्टव्या एंड देर फॉर व्हाट इज द सद असद योनि एवरेज बिट्वीन द टू द गॉड वर्ल्ड एंड द एनिमल वर्ल्ड इन बिट्वीन इज द ह्यूमन वर्ल्ड देर फोर सर असर योनि वी कैन ऑल्सो मीन द मनुष्य योनि दिस इज हाउ वी कीप ऑन माइग्रेटिंग फ्रॉम वन लाइफ टू अनदर लाइफ ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ आवर आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द बॉडी द सेंसेस एंड देयर मॉडिफिकेशन एक दुक्तम भवती सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द होल टॉपिक प्रकृति स्थित प्रकृतिस्तवाख्या अविद्या गुणेशु य संगा काम संसार से कारण सो वॉट इज द कॉज ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड अवाइडन्स इन द प्रकृति एज इफ आई एम द प्रकृति एंड देअर फोर एक्सेप्टिंग द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द प्रकृति एज माय ओन मॉडिफिकेशन दिस इज द कॉज ऑफ संसार देर if we have to ultimately drop the total relativity so why create relativity therefore bhagwan shankara says shatrav mitre putre bandhau ma kuru yatnam vigrah sandhau don't create friends and enemies near dear and enemies no in this manner अस्य च निवृत्ति कारण ज्ञान वैरे वैराग्ये सन्यासे गीता शास्त्रे प्रसिद्धम एंड दिस डिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन विद द बॉडी प्रकृति एंड द मॉडिफिकेशन एटसेट्रा इज द वन टॉपिक विच इज इन एंड थ्रू द होल भगवत गीता एक्सप्लेन थ्रू ज्ञान एंड द वैराग्य सो दिस tadatmy the identification with the body and the modification etc is only possible by these two technique what is that vairagya towards the prakruti and jnana of the self that is why vairagya unless we have we will never be able to progress on the spiritual path otherwise we imagine we are walking the spiritual path but we are so much involved with the worldly things नौ तच्च ज्ञानम पुरस्ता उपन्यस्त क्षेत्र क्षेत्र विषय नौ दिस नॉलेज वॉज ऑलरेडी पुरस्ता अर्लियर टोल्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ज्ञान एटसेट्रा एंड ये ज्ञावा अमृत मुष्टते उक्त च एंड ऑल्सो नोइंग दिस इज द वे टू अटेन्ड इमोर्टैलिटी इट वॉज ऑलरेडी सो सेड देर फोर अन्यापोहे न अतधर्म अध्यारोपेण by the technique of adharopa apavad superimposition due superimposition we were told that unless we know ourselves this samsara will continue and see fortunately we are studying our shweta shadarupanishad there also the same topic is going on 
What is the purpose of the Jiva Ishvara Upadhi Bheda Abhyasa? Why we are studying that the differences between the Jiva and the Ishvara? Purpose is to come to the Parmeshwara. Similarly, the difference between the Prakriti and the Ishvara. The purpose is so that we come to the Parmeshwara. So we don't want to continue as the Sankhya Purusha, but we want to go transcend beyond the relativity of Jiva Jagat Ishvara. Because Jiva Jagat Ishvara, they are only Aupadhika. The differences are born out of conditioning. But absolute reality is beyond all. Unless we recognize this absolute, we will continue to be absolutely miserable. Now, tasseva punaha sakshat nirdesha kriyate. Now, this absolute reality is now directly indicated in this 22nd verse. Upadrashtanumanta cha Bharata bhokta maheshwaraha Paramatmeti cha pyuktaha Dehesmin Purusha Paraham Upadrashta Samipastaha San Drashta Swayam Avyaprato Yatha Rugbid Yajanamane Shu Yadna Karuma Vyaprute Shu Tatastaha Anya Avyaprato Yadni Vidya Kushalaha Rutvig Yajamana Vyapara Dosha Guna Doshanam Ikshita Tadvat कार्य करना व्यापारे शु अव्याप्रताह अन्यहा विलक्षणहा तेशाम कार्य करना नाम सब व्यापारा नाम सामीप्येन दृष्टा इति उपदृष्टा ना वो जो उपदृष्टा उपदृष्टा ही इज एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन समीपस्थासन स्वयं अव्याप्रताह उपदृष्टा दिस इज द डेफिनेशन बीइंग वेरी नियर Yet not participating is called as Upadrashta. This is one of the most important spiritual practice. You know, how we get involved in this world? What is the meaning of attachment? This I learned in my life. Attachment, attachment, hundred times we talk about. But what exactly it is, is not understood. So, I understood this attachment like this. I was staying somewhere and room was very dirty where I had to stay. So, I thought I'll clean the room but not allowed. No, you are not supposed to touch anything. So, I said, but I am not asking anything. I want to cleaning. No means no. So, I had no choice. Then every day only one thought like a loop. I am not asking for money. I am not asking for any favor. Only clean this room. What is wrong in that? One loop, the circle is over. I said, but I am not asking anything. Is this the sin to clean the room? Why they don't allow? Again, circle is over. Again after some time. Is it not cleanliness is next to godliness? And in this manner, I have wasted friends six months in my life. Six months on this one issue. Any moment I study the same thought. I do meditation the same thought. I go for a walk the same thought. And I was as if persecuted. And one day, I was disgusted, tired. And I said, hey, hell with the whole thing. The moment I drop, aha, what a joy. That day I understood the meaning of attachment. So what is the attachment therefore? Whenever we give value to anything or anybody, positive or negative value, that becomes our identification with that. Therefore, this is the spiritual practice, Upadrashta. 
But what happens wherever we go, two people are talking, we have to speak whether we are required or not. See? When one mother is telling, this I always experience, when these people come to meet, so one mother comes and tells Swamiji, you know, my child has become so naughty, now you know he started walking and now he started pulling the things, very difficult to maintain. Now that new mother is enjoying the childhood pranks of her child. Others sitting there, do you think they will keep quiet? If they are elderly ladies, ah, this is the this is the no, this will also go away. Who asked you? See? Because we cannot stand without participating in this world. Upadrashta. Let us learn this. Otherwise, this is how you know the stories go on spreading everywhere. Two persons are talking on something. The third person hears and he says, Do you know what they were talking? Was, it, was there a need? No need. But we have not practiced upadrashta. That is the reason, you know, many, many times people uh, ask us, Swamiji, if you are going that way, I like to come with you. I straight away say, no only for this reason. You know, I have to keep my mouth shut. The moment you talk one thing, it becomes a big thing. Like, you know, what happens? The... Um, Suppose I had to go somewhere with somebody. Now this is the only time I can finish my all discussions talk with that man. Nobody to disturb. So time is utilized. But if there are two, three people also in the car, do you think that they are closing their eyes and in meditation? They all will be listening and all that. And thereafter when they go out, immediately they will post everywhere. No, 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 no. I heard Swamiji is going to hell. Let us all prepare. But how do you know Swamiji is going to hell? He only told you, when he was going by car, he was talking about his preparations for the hell. Then I don't know. What are the preparations? What are you doing? This is how we become non-spiritual in our life. Make it very clear. Upadrashta is one of the very, very important spiritual practice. Now see, if you are not able to stop your participation in the gross world. Be very attentive. If you are not able to stop your participation in the gross world, will you be able to stop your participation with your own thoughts? See? Then we will immediately get identified with the thought and start running with the thought. Therefore, unless we are able to practice Upadrashta in the outer world, the Sakshi Bhava cannot be discovered. And then our problem is, I don't know, mind is so terrible, you know, I just can't control the mind, what I should do? Participate in the world. What I should do? Upadrashta. Therefore, each and every word in this verse is the technique of meditation if we have the ability to read beyond the words. Upadrashta. Now, here he has given that definition. Samipastaha sandrashta swayam avyaprutaha. Although staying very close to the world, yet not getting involved in the world is called Upadrashta. Now, example is given. These are the words used in the Vedic uh, Karmakanda. Like Yatha, just like Rudvig Yajamaneshu Yadne Karma Vyapruteshu Tatastaha Anneha Avyapruta Yadne Vidya Kushalaha. So there is a person who is expert in this Yadne Vidya. He is called as Brahma technically. Now this Brahma, he is sitting quiet and observing what the Purohit is doing, how the Yajaman is taking the Achaman whether he is taking in the right hand or the left hand, whether the mantra is chanted properly or not, he just keeps quiet and observes. Because when this yajna karma is going on, nobody is supposed to in between interrupt and destroy the process of yajna. 
This is called as the Upadrashta. Similarly, Tadvat, in the same way, Karya Karana Vyapareshu, the body and the modification of the body. Karana, the sense organs coming in contact with the various objects. Karya Karana Vyapareshu, Avyaprutaha. The one who does not get involved with the modification of the body and all the faculties, Anyaha Vilakshanaha. There is one who is of the opposite nature than the Prakriti. Tesham Karya Karananam Savyaparanam Samipena Drashta Upadrashta. So now see the picture. Gross body, all the faculties, sense organs, antakkaran, and in that antakkaran there is the reflection of the consciousness, which is called as the purusha. Now this whole thing is going on, and a series of experiences, good or bad, happening. That jiva, the purusha, is suffering. I am happy. I am unhappy. I want that. I don't want that. All this is happening. But this Paramatma is Upadrashta. He not only is illuminating the world, the experiencer of the world, and also the experiences of the world, and yet standing apart, Upadrashta. This is called as Upadrashta. Tesham Vilakshanaha. Karya Karana Karananam Savyaparanam Samipena Drashta Upadrashta. So Upa means near. So Paramatma is so nearer to us that the gross body, the sense organs, the Antakaran Chatushta, and the reflection of the consciousness in that Antakaran Chatushta in the form of the Jiva Bhava. All of them nearer than the nearest is this reality. Therefore, Upadrashta. So, Upa means Samipena Drashta, Upadrashta. Athava, another example is given. Deha, Chakshu, Mana, Buddhi, Atmanaha, Drashtaraha. So, all Atmanaha, Drashtara. All of these are the seers, Drashta. Like what? Deha, Body only exists. Body has no sense that I am fat or I am thin. Similarly, uh, Chakshuhu, eyes only eliminate the colors and forms. Eyes have no comments. The third, Manaha, mind only supports good and bad thoughts. Doesn't get influenced by the good and bad thoughts. Mind is mind. Thoughts are good and bad. Similarly, Buddhi, <coughs> presence or absence of the doubts doesn't touch the buddhi. In this manner, if we see everything in this world is only the drashta, unattached. Isn't it? Our eyes are not attached to anything. Therefore, Eyes can illuminate every color and form. Ears are not attached to any particular sound. Therefore, ear can hear all the sounds required, unrequired, in the same manner. <clears throat> this Parabrahma Paramatma. Why is called as Upadrashta? Because in comparison to the body, eyes, mind, intellect, etc., and the Jiva Bhava, Tesham Bhaja Drashta Dehaha Tataha Arabya Antaratamahacha Pratyak Samipa Atma Drashta Yataha Paraha Antaraha Nasti Drashta So Atishayena Samipyena Drashtatvat Upadrashta Syad. So when you start, Gross body is the external drashta, external most, periphery of the personality. Then mind. Mind are little, uh, rather not mind, sense organs. Sense organs are little nearer to us than the body. Then nearer to the body is the mind. Uh, near to the body and the senses is the mind. Nearer to these three is the intellect. 
nearer to the intellect is the reflection of the consciousness in the intellect in the jiva bhava and nearer to the jiva bhava is this para brahma paramatma and therefore he is called as upadrashta others are only drashta a paramatma is upadrashta therefore no asti drashta sa atishaya samipena so there is no other drashta the seer the onlooker the witness which is more close than this para brahma paramatma therefore he is called as upadrashta यज्ञ उपदृष्टवत वा सर्व विषयी करणार उपदृष्टा और ऑल्सो वी कॅन मीन दॅट यज्ञ उपदृष्टुवत लाईक द उपदृष्टा इन केस ऑफ द यज्ञ वेन इज गोईंग ऑन ही जस्ट ऑब्झर्विंग एव्हरीथिंग इन द सेम मॅनर दिस परब्रम परमात्मा इज इल्युमिनेटिंग एव्हरीथिंग वॉट इज एव्हरीथिंग जाग्र स्वप्न सुषुप्ति समाधि एंड येट ही इज नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय दीज वेरियस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियन्सेस ऑर द व्यापार ऑर द बिजनेस देअर फोर इज कॉल्ड एज उपद्रष्टा फर्स्ट देन अनुमंता इट इज नॉट हनुमंता इट्स अनुमंता अनुमंताच अनुमोदनम अनुमननम कुरवत्सु तत्क्रियासु परितोषा तत्कर्ता अनुमंताच वॉट इज अनुमंता अनुमोदनम कुरवत्सु ही इज एग्रीइंग विथ एव्हरीथिंग अँड हाऊ इज एग्रीइंग विथ एव्हरीथिंग तत्क्रियासु परितोषा आय इज वॉन्ट टू सी ओके सी आय इज डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी ओके डोंट सी Ears want to hear, come on, go ahead. I don't want to hear, I want to sleep. Okay, go to sleep. Anumanta, he who does not disagree with anything in this world is Anumanta. Whether Jagrata Vastha comes and goes, Sapna Vastha comes and goes, Sushupti or Samadhi comes and goes, with everything this Paramatma says, okay, okay. see this is another very important technique which very few people are able to understand normally you know our love is our imposition on others is called as love and we are so obsessed with that that we are forgetting that we are destroying our own spiritual practice i remember where it happened somewhere at thani or like that i used to go earlier for their lectures regularly and uh, one family they called me for bhiksha so i went to their house very loving very sincere very simple very pure and very stupid so i went to their house for food and i said look here i am not uh, all that good in my health so i'll take only whatever i want no 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 swami we have prepared so many things i said look here i will not take mango juice because it creates heat in my body boils on my body so i don't take that milk i never take milk products i don't take uh, sugar or sweets i don't take so i'll take only simple thing no but we have prepared this thing out made out of onion and all that i said yes i take some time but today my stomach is very bad i cannot take anything which will create gas so i took simple dal and rice and it started creating a havoc no see we am sorry please take little bit for our sake you have to take i said okay give everything i ate everything that they gave and there after one week i was down somebody what happened i said uh, you failed he said how come we failed i said i am still alive when i told you that day that my stomach is not good i am not well but you don't listen and that you call as love see upadrashta anumanta parmatma what poor fellow will do i said can i okay and said can i okay and then we imagine that it is our love it is not love 
इट इज देअर प्रॅक्टिस महात्मा स्पिरिच्युअल प्रॅक्टिस इज अनुमंध ओके डू दॅट ओके डू दॅट देअर फॉर टू डिस्कवर दिस अनुमंता तत्व इनास वन स्पिरिच्युअल प्रॅक्टिस इज वी मस्ट नॉट बी ऑप्सेस विथ एनिथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड सी लाईफ बिकम्स व्हेरी डिफरंट अँड ब्युटिफुल अनुमंता अनुमोदनम अनुमनम अनुमननम कुरवत्सु तत् क्रियासु परितोषः अँड एक्सेप्टन्स इज लाईक हॉड परितोषः नो कम्प्लेन देन ओनली वी आर नियर टू अवर ओन सेल्फ नाव अथवा अनुमंता कार्यकरण प्रवृत्तिषु स्वयं अप्रवृत्तः अपि प्रवृत्त इव तद अनुकूलो विभाव्यते तेन अनुमंता Although this Paramatma परमात्मा इज नो वेअर आयडेंटिफाईड नो वेअर गेटिंग इन्फ्लुएन्स बाय नो वेअर इन्वॉल्ड इन एनी वे अँड येट ॲज इफ ही इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग मिनिंग ही इज नॉट लिव्हिंग ॲज इंडिफरंट एव्हरीबडी इज एन्जॉईंग अँड आय मिन एज वाय आय नो इंटरेस्ट अरे यू मे नॉट हॅव इंटरेस्ट बट वीन एव्हरीबडी इज एन्जॉय यू शुड जॉईन दॅट इज इम्पॉर्टंट दिस इज कॉल्ड ॲज अनुमंता therefore all our actions good or bad parmatma is with us he doesn't say only for the good things i'll be with you okay bad things you do by yourself no he is with us all the time anumanta further athwa pravruttan sva vapareshu tat sakshi bhutah kadachit api na nivarayati iti anumanta or all the senses body etc they are involved in their own respective activities he doesn't object their participation in this world the way they want he doesn't object therefore uh, pravruttan sva vyapareshu tat sakshi bhuta hasan kadachit api na nivarayati but he himself is untouched by them this is how mahatmas live in this world whether somebody has been a drunkard or anything they have nothing to do so okay come everything is fine because they are living with that absolute reality who is anumanta bharta bharta doesn't mean mangan ka bharta bharta bharanam nam dehendriya mano buddhi nam samhata nam samhata nam चैतन्यात्म पारार्थेन निमित्तिभूतेन चैतन्य भाषाना यदारण तैतन्य चैतन्यात्मक इव एव इति भर्ता आत्मा इति उच्यते नाउ भर्ता इ द वन हू इज द सपोर्टर ऑफ ऑल द एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ द भोक्ता देअर फॉर भरण नाम देहेंद्रिय मनोबुद्धि नाम संहता नाम सो ऑल दिस देह मन इंद्रिय बुद्धि ऑल द कंडिशनिंग ऑफ बॉडी माइंड एटसेट्रा चैतन्यात्म पारार्थेन निमित्त भूतम सो द प्युअर कॉन्शियसनेस बिकम्स इनडायरेक्टली द कॉज फॉर इनलिवनिंग देम एंड बिकॉज दे आर इनलिवंड बाय द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द कॉन्शियसनेस दे आर फॉर यथ स्वरूप धारणम and therefore as if it is the parmatma who is making them alive but it is not the parmatma it is only the reflection of the parmatma which is making them alive be very attentive electricity doesn't give light it is the manifestation of the electricity through the world that gives light but what we say electricity has given light in the same manner Paramatma is present in the living and the dead equally. When this Paramatma is functioning through the body as the mind and in that mind there is reflection of the consciousness therefore that prakriti which is jada inert becomes enlivened that enlivened prakriti is able to experience everything so this is done by the reflection of the consciousness therefore pararthena indirectly we say that it is paramatma alone who is the bharta who is the supporter of all the experiences then second bhokta agni ushnavat 
चैतन्य नित्य चैतन्य स्वरूपेण बुद्धे सुख दुख मोहात्मक प्रत्यय सर्व विषय विषया चैतन्यात्मग्रस्ता इव जायम विवक्ता विभाव्यंते इति भोक्ता आत्मा उच्चते इन द सेम मैनर लाइक द हीट ऑफ द फायर विच इज ऑलवेज देयर इन द सेम मैनर दिस आत्मसत्ता द प्योर एक्सिस्टेंस कॉन्शियसनेस इज illuminating all the experiences of the joy sorrows etc and therefore they are illumined by the consciousness as if the consciousness of the atma has become the experiencer and therefore he is also called as the bhokta now take these first upadrashta nearest to one's own essential self then anumanta little bit gone away from the essential self and started going nearer to the prakriti but protecting oneself bharta started taking the responsibility of looking at the prakriti bhokta started getting still involved in the vyapara the business of the prakriti or the matter and started becoming the enjoyer etc in fact who is he maheshwaraha so what is maheshwaraha sarvatmatvan swatantratvacha mahan ishwaraha iti maheshwaraha what in fact this ishwara is not only supporting individual bodies but all the bodies so here when these words are used upadrashta anumanta bharta bhokta this is the general statement so all the experiencers all the support for everything in this world given by this maheshwara therefore here the statement is on the basis of the principle and not the personality maheshwara therefore paramatma देहादीना बुद्ध्यता प्रत्यगात्मे कल्पिता अविद्यां परम उपद्रष्टुत्वादी लक्षण आत्मा इति परमात्मा एंड in this manner the supreme self alone is beyond all of them how starting from the deha up to the buddhi and in that buddhi reflecting as a consciousness becoming the jiva even be a, uh, an avidya avidya kalpita naam so in this way uh, under the influence of the reflection of the ignorance all these things is called as the atma and this is paramatma the supreme beyond everything so saha anta paramatma iti anena shabdena cha abhyukta kathita shrutau shruti also says he is called as the paramatma the end absolute ko aso who is this asmin dehe purushah parah avyaktat in this very body avyaktat parah purushah so there are no two purushas one purusha is in the avyakta becoming the jiva other purusha is beyond the avyakta he is the purushottama see in the 15th chapter bhagwan talks about it yasmat kharamati tu ham aksharad bichottama atosmi loke vede cha prathitah purushottama so the same purusha when in association with the prakriti is jiva and when prakrute he paraha when he is beyond the prakriti he is called as the paramatma so ko asau asmin de para purusha avyakta paraha iti kshetradnyam chapi maam vidhi upanyasta vyakhaya upasamhrata cha and therefore what was said kshetradnyam chapi maam vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharata this is thus established in this mantra after having said this so much we have learned then what will happen if we know all this this is said in the 23rd verse that we will take in our next class om purnamadaha purnamidam purna at purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः
हरि ओम